All right, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and I don't have any videos for y'all because I woke up today and I actually broke my phone, so I lost everything. And I'm going to be shooting this video on my brand new phone, Galaxy S23 Ultra. And what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, show y'all a little mishap that I've had with a customer. Um, and we're going to do a test, and I'm going to show you everything. So what we have here, we have a 4-inch J-Class. This is the 7 gallon a minute, 8 gallon a minute, 3 quarter horsepower pump. And I have it in my test tank right now. Now this is the pump that was returned from my customer. Now this here is the new 8 gallon a minute, 3 quarters, same exact pump. Now I want to show y'all, that way you can hear and you can listen. And it, it's just strange, but everything about it, it runs and operates fine. But you'll see what I mean here in a second, what doesn't seem right. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to turn it on. And as you can tell, it's extremely noisy. Now, just so anybody's wondering, it is circulating water right now. But you can tell just how loud it is. I mean, this is absolutely terrifyingly loud. It's flowing 11.7 gallons per minute. And it will build 180 PSI. So it functions, it functions fine. It's starting to vibrate and rattle. Hold on. What do I do with my amp, amp meter? <laughs> so if we get our amp meter and we clamp that on there, we get we get perfect fine amps. So it's running at eight. So go ahead, close the valve, Justin. Like uh, 80% of the way. Give me about 100 PSI. So now we're running four, or we're running 7.9 amps. All right, give me 140. So at 140 PSI, we're at 7.7 .7 amps, and we're flowing right at five gallons per minute. So it's just. It, it just seems weird to me how loud it is and I don't know if it's like a bearing in the motor or if it got uh, if it got dropped in shipping so my customer said that they were having problems where it wasn't pumping water but I have like definitive proof that it does flow water it does you know flow gallons per minute and it does build pressure and it's within the specs of the amp reading so we're gonna go ahead now we're gonna cut it off and we're gonna test a brand new one compared to that one because it's been in the mail twice. I shipped it to him and he shipped it back. Um, he pulled it out of the well twice, both times. I mean, we went probably 20 emails and 10 phone calls and couldn't figure it out. So before anything else was said, I went ahead, pulled up his order form, grabbed him a brand new pump, sent it to him. He put the new pump in and he's not having any problems. So. I can't speak to what the deal is with this thing. Um, maybe it got dropped in shipping and maybe there's an internal damage on it, but I'll be able to find out once I uh, put that pump in the test tank just to see, you know, what, what it shows and how it sounds versus what this thing is. So Justin's got the, uh, the spout for the testing system. We're going to go ahead now. We're going to thread it into the brand new pump. And I've got the old pump pulled out here out of the test tank. So we're going to see exactly what's going on here. All right, now we just got to put the union on. All right, so we got the new pump inside the test tank. And everything seems to be working fine. This one flows an identical amount of flow rate. Let's go ahead and see how much pressure it builds. See an identical amount of pressure, so we're good there. Now that builds 180 PSI, so you gotta subtract 50 from that from the pressure switch. That'll put you at 130 PSI. And if we come over here and look, 130 PSI, that means this pump is good until 300 feet deep. That's about where we set this pump. It's a three-quarter eight, three-quarter seven. They're the same thing. But, um, yeah, I think there was just some sort of fault with that other pump that, that probably got um, that probably got messed up in shipping. 
We're gonna go over here. We're gonna turn this on. We're gonna read amp draw. We're gonna go ahead and put it back at 140. We're at five gallons a minute there. And we're at 7.6, 7.5. So this one pulls slightly less amps than the other one. The other one was closer to eight, which was actually closer to the maximum amount. But yeah, I'm, uh, I was eager to test these pumps and I didn't know what was up with the other one. But it does sound like this one runs considerably, considerably quieter. So I'm going to say either it had a issue internally from the factory, which these things are always tested prior to them going out. So maybe somebody dropped it at the shipping yard. Who knows? That's the problem with uh, sending stuff through the mail. I put two fragile stickers, do not drop you know handle with care every time I ship something out so it's up to the people who have it in their hands to take it to my to my uh, customer whether or not they're you know diligent with the with the uh, package and you know if they're abusive with it or whatnot but okay well I kind of learned everything I needed to learn here it's it's got awesome pressure ability but the other one I'm just gonna have to send in for a warranty claim cool that's all we needed to know there. Go ahead and pull it out. Good deal. Hot dog. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I know it's kind of short, it's kind of sweet, but um, I hope everybody is ready for Thanksgiving. Hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. We're all kind of sick over here. I guess it's kind of like strep throat, kind of, but everybody's got the crud in our office, so... We haven't been doing much because we've been down, but um, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and I just wanted to get a video for everybody and wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, and I will see y'all after the holidays, and I uh, just want to say thank you for 60,000 subscribers, and I can't wait for 40,000 more, so see y'all on the next one.